What's up guys, Cardboard Mimic here. Wanted to give you a heads up. We had some technical issues with our recording software on this episode, but it was still a great time talking to Mega Sweaty about regional prep for the Concord Regional this weekend. Hope to see you guys there. Also, make sure you guys go to cataclysmicgamers.com and sign up for the newsletter. We're going to be giving away a box of BT9 to a random member of the community. Thanks for listening to the Security Check Podcast. Talk to you guys later. What's up, guys? Hey, everybody. Tonight we've got the man, the myth, the legend, Mega Sweaty. What's up, everybody? Uh, and before we get started, so this weekend, uh, tonight's conversation topic is uh, mostly going to be about prepping for the Concord Regional. And yeah. uh, if you see any of us, uh, grab one of these cards. Uh, wholehearted made them for us to hand out so people can uh, check out the podcast and join the Discord and check out the website. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> They're really cool. Yeah, that's right. You better. I was handing them out with you, man. I'm telling you. You guys give me a stack when we get there first thing in the morning. I'll go give them the pro play and everybody. I'll get everybody. <laughs> to it. Nice. Yeah, for every single you buy, you get a Cataclysmic Gamers barcode. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I probably should get a bunch of these for a TCG player. That'd be smart. Slide them in when people buy them. Mm -hmm. That's it. So yeah, uh, so prepping for the regional, uh, what are you guys doing to prep? Oh man, a lot of prayers, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of caffeine, uh, you know, a lot of last second regrets, decisions changing, you know, figuring out what to bring, what not to bring. So a bunch of grinding, too much grinding. <laughs> way too much god yeah i haven't done any of that oh, so wow. this is what i was like mega's like hey this is this is the poster child for how you should prep for regionals <laughs> me, and, me and drew are like the opposite like we are like hey guys this is what you shouldn't do for regionals oh, yeah. <laughs> watch you guys come in and do better than all of us though so it's okay you guys just walk in top 32 top 16 Come home. That's all you got to do. You, you stare. You stare at a deck list, and then you mentally just stare at it and wait for changes to pop into your head. And you're like, you know what? I should do this instead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the night before, so we're leaving tomorrow. We're meeting uh, Wholehearted and his buddies uh, at the Airbnb, and we're just gonna test most of the night. Um, gonna be recording games. Hopefully TikTok live. I don't know. Um, and then just enjoy the environment on Saturday. That's all you can do. Win or man. lose. That's what it's about. That's it. That is all it's about. It's just having fun, playing a kid's game with a bunch of grown adults. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's it. Nothing's more manlier than this. <laughs> it would be cool to see some younger faces, though, because like Atlanta, we had what, like three or four pretty young pretty young oh. kids like yeah 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 sub sub, sub 16 ish yeah so and, yeah in south carolina when i played in the greenville regional they was like 10 i mean my round one was against the kid from new york so it's like yeah the kid was like nine years old 10 years old hilarious this kid it was it was great i mean it was just it's fun to know that people in this young of a generation are enjoying digimon right because like I grew up with Digimon as a kid, you know. So seeing kids that were my age when Digimon was coming out, now playing this card game, I was like, heck yeah, man! Now you get to enjoy my childhood, right? <laughs> so it's it's fun. So. Are we going to break down a, a tier list of things you should do to prep for regionals? <laughs> yeah, so uh, actually, uh, perfect timing for. Uh, that DCGO drop. There it is. Playing online. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, now the bug should be. You should be able to download. Uh, you need to go to Juan Zero's Discord, 
and he actually set up his server to where if you want to be part of his community, you can click the emoji. Or if you just want the DCGO stuff, you can click that emoji and uh, they've got all the files up so you don't have to, you know, strip all the cards to get the files and images. And now people are starting to make alt art files, which is pretty sick. <laughs> so now if you want to bling out your DCGO deck, you can. Yeah. So, yeah. See, I'm not tech savvy at all, man. So when all these people are like, yeah, you just change the file to a dot PNG, drag and pull. I'm like, what the, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you guys are boomers. I barely know how to pull up files <laughs> on my fucking computer, man. Much less, like, this webcam stuff. I sat here and got Tyler to move it for me so people could see my face. Because I had it down here like this shit. And I was like, yeah, this should be fine. And I was like, dude, they can't see your face. I was like, do they have to? Like, how does this work? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know how to fucking do computers at all, man. I barely, I don't know, just did grow up with it. I, I just, I don't know how I feel about guys playing a uh, card game about, you know, viruses and stuff. Oh, yeah. All yeah. kinds of tech stuff and don't know a single Hell thing. No. Hell no. All I know is hey. good guys, bad guys, boom. Fight. <laughs> We, we are like the protagonist and liberator. We love the game. We know the game. But then when we get into this world with all this, we're like, well, wait, how does any of this work? I just want to sling cardboard. You mean this was a virus the whole time? What? <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> the fucking boomers. That's <laughs> hey, I have two webcams now. No, oh, man. But that's because I streamed. I set up for streaming way back. So when COVID happened, I had my old webcam. Then I went and bought the $20 webcam from Walmart to stream my play mat. So that's it. There it is. I bought a webcam. I still, the very first Nats, I had a laptop that I used when I uh, was in college. And so I never touched it since after, like, once I graduated college, moved up here. My laptop was like 10 years old at that point, right? When the first Nats happened, I think it was 2020. And so <laughs> it had 10 updates. It took it an entire day to update, an entire day. And I did it the day before Nats. And so my friends were like, how? Why? I was like, it was in a little box in my closet, like set up on a top shelf covered in dust like that thick. And I was like, oh, man, I don't, <laughs> I don't fucking know. What it so they had to teach me how to sit up Discord and webcam and all that stuff and how to do it so i had no clue how to do it for nats i was just like when i was playing i would tell everybody when i was playing them i was like look i'm gonna be real with you i don't know how to fucking do this if i mess up tell me right and i was so it was one What's of those computer yeah right right <laughs> <laughs> and they kind of looked at me they got real quiet they're like yo okay and i said dude i'm telling you i don't know any of this stuff so it's it's, it's pretty bad <laughs> It's okay. You got those tech guys in your life that can take care of you. Oh, yeah, but they hate it because they're always like, just do this. And I'm like, what's this? And I'm like sitting here like, you remember um, Zoolander with the Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson thing where they're like, this is what I'm doing. I'm the caveman with a computer. And he's just Tyler yelling at me the whole time. He's like, it's the wrong button. I was like, I don't even know what button to press. <laughs> Too much pressure. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Leafy's their tech guy. That's sad, but true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the most dependable one we have on file, yeah. <laughs> so, I man. love it. Yeah, no. Sorry to disappoint, but I suck with the computers. <laughs> Great at the card game. Terrible with tech. I'm average at the card game at best, but uh, don't rely on me for computers. I'll fuck you over. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of those guys at work that's like, they give you a new electronic and you're like, I don't want to use it. I'm sticking to the paper. I still got a flip phone. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, man. Yeah, no, it's bad. It's, it's, it's bad. I'm not even going to deny it. It's, uh, yeah, don't depend on me to fix your computer if it ever breaks. I'll leave your heart broken. <laughs> you and your computer will be broke. 
both would be broke afterwards. Yeah, that's exactly right. Me mentally and your computer physically. <laughs> so, prepping for a regional, uh, what, what kind of things do you actually need to do to not be bad like us? Oh, man. No, I don't think anybody's bad at this game. I think, I think everybody plays the game that suits their style, right? So whether it, I mean, it suits for competitive, non-competitive, I think it just really depends, you know, on the person. But like the way my mind's sitting in, it's like we were brushing over earlier. Um, I'm really big on knowing what the meta is, right? Like knowing what your opponent plays. I'm so big on that. That Like any of my friends that we practice together can tell you, I like drill it in their heads for like, I'm playing Numamon, for example, and they're playing Mirage, right? As soon as they flip their egg over, I see a Wanyamon or a Buko. I'm like, okay, they're playing Mirage, right? Because that's the best blue deck in the format right now. Please play Old Force. I would love the free win. But, like, if nine out of ten times I'm dropping a Galmon, right? And so, like, I try to, like, see that, right? And I see that mentality, and I see, and I plan ahead. Like, it's all about, it, you know what your deck does. People could say, oh, I'm so unprepared, I'm so unprepared, I'm so unprepared. Nine out of ten times. You're not going to bring a deck that you built last night to a regional. You're going to bring a deck that you know is a good old faithful, right? You've played it since you've built it. You've customized it. You've teched it here and there. But overall, it's as weathered and as trained as it can be with you, right? You know your deck inside it out. You know you're on four of this, one of this, one of this, right? So the biggest battle people need to come to, in my opinion, is knowing what their opponent's playing, right? Because... If you can play around your worst matchups, even the deck that's considered the worst in the format can win. Because if you know, if they're battling uphill while you're trucking them downhill, you're going to win. You're just going to wear them down just by sheer knowledge of what you're playing against, right? And that's kind of how I look at regionals, right? I look at it at, I break down what's been consistently showing up. And a lot of people... A lot of people net deck. A lot of people will see Eggman's event posts, right? This top, yeah. Mirage Galcomon, top 10 out of the 16 at one event, right? But if you look at the past eight, it's gotten one, right? But that one time at top 10. So you're going to see a lot of people mirror that list, right? That means they haven't practiced it a lot. They haven't got a lot of time into it. So they're not going to know the ins and outs. So you could just take advantage of that, right? No that nine to ten times, if they even misplay once, capitalize. They're kind of screwed over, right? Because most Mirage lists only run five level sixes. Four of the good one, one of the evade. And then they'll run three of the blast big one, right? So all you got to do is if you weather them down and you keep DJs evolving, you keep bottom decking, you keep getting rid of their sixes, they're going to run out, and then they can't win because their win con is getting that mega, and then going into Blast and OTK and Q. So it's like you just, I use Mirage as an example because that's what one of my teammates is playing. So that's like what I tell him. I was like, you got to know what you're up against because if they have that same mentality that I do about just getting rid of it to where you can never make your six, you won't win. Because if you don't make a six against me, I beat you. Because that's just, I'm faster, you know? And that's, that's kind of how I've been prepping, how I've been making my buddies prep, you know, our team. We've just been practicing God, every day, it seems like, for the last month. Different formats. I built the top 10 decks in the format I have built right now, and I've just been like, all right, let's go through the weather. Let's play them all. Let's play them all. Let's go through it like 100 times, you know? So that's just, in my eyes, and, and the way I practice, and the way I prepare, it's like that. I just try to learn what I'm going up against better than what that person's playing it. So and hopefully it works. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it don't. We'll find out Saturday. <laughs> that that's that's great advice because also on the other end of the spectrum, <clears throat> if you don't know what the deck does, a lot of people are afraid to ask questions mm -hmm. or ask what a card does. And you know, I've learned this against playing you and certain people that play in a lot more regionals mm -hmm. is Hey man, if you don't know, you better you better ask. Yeah, I before <laughs> before they start going, as soon as they hey, can I can you explain this card or can you read this card? Because if it's something you've not seen or don't know, um, you know there's standard decks that everybody kind of knows. They're pretty simplistic, like War Greymon, pretty straightforward. But yeah. 
you may have not seen certain things like uh or like me i've only played against numamon twice Oof. however being red i do have a couple inherent little things that will help me out mm -hmm. but like some decks like mirage gal or if you play terrier mon or mega you don't there's not as many things in in that deck that you can take in mm -hmm. so you have to know what it does like uh, a lot of people are banking on speed. Numamon is fast. Yep. So it's like, but if you don't know what Numamon does, like Commandermon, these decks, they're able, I'll just wipe their board. Mm -hmm. Thank well, you. Well, <laughs> yeah, those <laughs> decks are like, oh, well, thank you. I will play more bodies now. Um, so if your deck, like you said, you have to know your opponent's deck almost better than your own so yeah. you can play into their weaknesses and try to take advantage of your strong suits. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, man. Practice. Practice is also yeah. key. You got to practice. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm so bad about when I play people and it's just because I like, I'm not competitive unless there's something to win for. Right. If I'm playing for something like an invite to Nats or prizing and stuff like that, then I'm competitive. Then I'm like, no, I want to win. Right. But even in that aspect, when I play people, like he, when I played in Corbin with you guys, or like when I play my locals, when people make play things that I know what they're about to do, I'll like mention it to be like, hey, I just wanted you to know, you know what this does, right? Like my buddy went to kill, like he was building up to kill defeat. And I was like, you know what defeat does when it dies, right? And he goes, yeah. And then he went to, and then he thought about it. He's like, wait, wait what does it do? And I was like, you kill it, I kill that. And he's like, yep. uh oh. And then I showed it to him. And I was, same thing yep. with the zoo long and stuff like that. I was like, you got that. So I'm, I'm, I try my best to like, be like, hey, you know, make sure, read your cards, make sure, you know. And like, like they're, now when people are real quick to argue and they're like, I know what it does, I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, and they do this. And I'm like, okay, these happen. And they go, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, no. I, Too late I, now. I, I give you a chance. You want to be rude. Uh, here you go. If you knew, you knew. So that that's another that's a good segue into one of my things is is regional energy versus your local energy. Yeah. Everyone always has, you know, they'll tell horror stories of the guy that the card shark, the rule shark. However, like you said, at regionals, there's stuff at stake. Mm -hmm. A lot of us are traveling, things like that. So um, matching your opponent's energy. Like, uh, you can tell lots of times, like you said, how your opponent is going to play from how they act. They may be a timid player or they'll start playing stuff. And depending on the speed of your opponent, you got to, like I said, you don't be afraid to ask questions because if they're flying through their deck and you even have a doubt, you better ask because they are not going to tell you. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Don't ask, don't if, tell. If, <laughs> if you see Mega Sweaty across the table from you, he is going to play that fast too. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, and and I try to put, I try to match his speed too because that's something uh, that was a hot topic, you know, a couple months back was um, how long people take. Um, yeah. And I think that comes down to a lot of people that's why I play the same old deck at most regionals is because I feel comfortable. I know what it can't do and I know what it can do. Mm -hmm. So it's like, um, knowing your deck and knowing your speed, it helps you play better because it's like, Oh, this deck is weak to this. I have this teched in. I need to find this. I need to find this. I need to do this. Like, do I build multiple stacks? Do I raise in the back? How fast do I need to push? It's all kind of intertwined in uh, knowing your matchup and also knowing your deck. Because like you said, there will be probably some people that net deck. Oh, yeah. A lot. So, I mean, <laughs> they'll come in and they won't know how to do their deck. And that's always, I try not to do that. But it is always discouraging when they try to do something. You're like, wait a minute, that's not actually how that works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they're staring at you. You're not trying to embarrass anybody. It's just like, wait a minute, bro. No, no, no. Wait. Like, mm -hmm. we, let's take a step back. Um, but yeah, regional energy is a lot different than local energy. You have people that aren't playing for 
and I'm not trying to downplay local prizing. I'm just saying they're not playing for promos. They're playing for serialized Omnimons. Yeah. They're playing for NAT invites. This is this is what we're doing. There's some big prizes on the table. So there's a huge step in competitive at regionals versus your locals. Right. And you may have a sweaty locals, yeah. but there's still that friendly atmosphere. Yeah. Lots at the end of, of the day, locals. Yeah, you think you know where most of them live. If you've been to their house, et cetera, et cetera, <laughs> you'd be like, "That's fine. I'll wait I'll, for you outside." <laughs> yeah, I'll steal your DoorDash the next time it yeah. stops off. You listen right, here. Right. I, I, I got your door number. I'm gonna order a hundred pizzas to your house. Make sure you leave the tip. That's how I'll get payback on you. No, yeah, no, I couldn't agree more. Like that's that's me as a player. Like you can always tell when I'm trying. Like I got my hat on to like, hey, I'm here to win. Or when I'm like, hey, I'm just here to hang out. Let's have fun, guys, right? Like, if I'm coming for something, I'm like, and I don't ever rule shark, right? But I'm also one of those where I want everybody to, like, know how it works, too, right? Because I think people, everybody interprets things differently, right? But that doesn't mean that that's exactly how the the ruling is, right? And so Digimon's pretty lax when it comes to, like, like, the rules are pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of, like, you have to, like, read the fine lines. Like, no, it's pretty straightforward. There's also, like, timing is a thing, right? And so many issues I've seen with a lot of people playing is, like, no, no, you missed your timing. Well, it's just, it was, like, usually, yeah, you're right. But, like, this is, like, the fifth time you've missed the same trigger. And I'm not going to let you keep taking it back, right? Like, you got to yep. you gotta learn eventually, right? And it's about it's like like you said, regionals. Uh, I'm I'm coming for something. I I'm driving five and a half hours. Uh, I'm coming for at least top sixteen. I want my invite. I don't want to get first. I want top sixteen. I'll be happy. That's all. I just want my invite, so I don't have to worry about this game for the next year. <laughs> <laughs> then I, then I can play for fun. That's it. Yeah, then I can enjoy the game. I'll be playing Dive Bormon. I'll be playing Dive Bormon for the rest of the year. <laughs> and I and I think you will have fun. I will. I'll love every second of it. I'll never <laughs> regret it. I so. think that was the first match I played was you played Diaboramon in the the Tennessee uh Discord. Yeah. And then you played the blocker version and I was like, Yep, this this deck sucks. It's yeah. so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> they gave me an alternate win con now. I'm never gonna try to kill you. I'm just gonna go for the win con. I don't even want to break your shields. I just want the win con. <laughs> We're gonna exodia. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> when I, as soon as I saw that get revealed, I messaged all of my friends and I said, "I will never kill you in this game again. I will only clock tower. I'll only go back." <laughs> I, was, I still got the Abormon. He's sitting back there, ready, yeah. ready and waiting. Hey man, updated, ready to go. Same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I keep it on my desk. Already built, ready to party. So no, my friends hate it. They're like, why do you still play that deck? I was like, I because I love it. I just love it. He he's an iconic villain. Yeah. It's a fun deck still. Yeah, amazing deck. It's so much fun to play. Spam out everything. And it, if you get momentum, like granted, easily to beat. There's so many cards that just yeah. say you're done. But if you get to play a lot of tokens and you don't get shut down, it's great. You're going to have fun. <laughs> you, they shut you down. Ah, you, you suck at this game. You're a jerk. <laughs> Let me live. <laughs> so, it's okay. Yeah. Know, know, know the meta yeah. so you can know your opponent's deck. Know yeah. your own deck. Mm -hmm. uh, what would be a good, a good next one? Oh, man. The next one, I guess... Uh, God, I don't know. Those are two really important ones for me. Bathe. <laughs> yeah. Bathe. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make sure you will. Oh, I was about to say, I bring, listen, I bring deodorant with me because, like, Same. sometimes it gets stupidly hot. When you get, mm -hmm. like, what we had Dragon Ball Super at Atlanta and us, and there's so many people. Oh, yeah. I had, I was sweating. And By they round three, I was like, Oh no, the air was on. I guess not good. It's just that, yeah, that's just a big room, and it was like, nope. Half yeah, of us started bay, going outside to the balcony. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was just to get air. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh man, no, it's gonna be. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, don't come stinking, man. Just yeah, respect yourself. I get it. Sometimes people don't like. Sometimes people don't wear deodorant. That's cool. That's on you. But take a shower. You can tell the difference <laughs> yeah. between bo and just stress sweat. You know what I'm saying? Like it's gonna be a. <laughs> Gonna have a bunch of people, a bunch of people. I coming, never thought right? about it. like yes, that that is true. There, that is two totally different smells. Besides, <laughs> yeah. just you haven't bathed in a while. Yeah, and you're just hot at this moment. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I, I'm a big guy, man. I sweat a lot. Like my face stays red 24 seven, and it's just like one of those things to where like I wear, I keep it on me, like you said, and especially at places like that, I'll keep a stick in my bag, and I get my buddies with me, and I'm just like, here you go, put some on. Please. Yeah. <laughs> if there's any uh, deodorants out there that will sponsor us, you know, hit us up. Hey, there you go. We, we have a hey. crowd. <laughs> hey, listen. Pokemon and Yu Gi Oh now have rules that you can be like, you can lose a match for excessive now. Yeah. yeah, I would say that's up to the judge and you. Like, you, like we just said, I'm not trying to offend anyone. I know there's people out there that uh, believe in natural aroma, but. Yeah. There's a difference in your own natural musk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I haven't seen anything. I haven't showered in two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. There's I, I a big difference. difference. Water, <laughs> yeah. Water hasn't even touched my body. Dry powder yeah. hasn't touched my body in two mm. weeks. Hey, man, you don't have to believe in deodorant to believe in gold bond. Body powder, baby. Let's go. There you go. That, yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, no, I feel you, though. Yeah. No. I mean, I think the biggest thing going in there is having the right mind sitting too. You know, at the end of the day, we're just playing a card game, right? Like, there's no reason to, like, belittle yourself, like, cut your character down. Because, I mean, I don't think anybody's going in there with the intentions of being a dick, right? Or being an asshole. But everybody wants to win. It's We're playing competitively. Like, we... Nobody likes losing. I don't know a single person in my entire life that says, yeah, I love losing. That's my favorite part of playing. Uh, yeah, pick me last, please, coach. I don't want to go first, right? I don't know. I don't want you to win. Yeah, yeah, good choice. You can just win, right? I enjoy this part of the game. I don't know many people like that in my life, right? Especially so, paying for it. <laughs> right? Yeah, we're dropping. It's not cheap, man. A B&B, like, all of us split the B&B together, you know, gas up there, right? Like, it's not like mm-hmm. we're not spending money on this game, right? So, but the biggest thing for me, and I tell all of my teammates, I tell all of my friends, at the end of the day, especially if we end up playing each other, because we have a bad habit of playing each other at events like this. End of the day, we're friends first. Don't let your competitive nature ruin your character. Like, it's like, I know I get Yancey sometimes, like, when I'm just like, oh, you're, you're getting on this guy, like, I take a step back, I breathe in. It's not worth it. Cool, whatever. I'm not going to make myself look like an ass just over a kid's game at the end of the day, right? I think that's like a big yep. thing going into events like this is you got to have that mentality. I mean, we're all going to have fun. We're going to hang out with guys that we don't normally get to hang out with on a daily basis, people we don't normally get to see but we talk to on the internet a lot, like, you know, people that we consider we're friendly with, right? Like, you get to yep. go hang out with them. It's not every day that you go do something like that. And plus, on a game – that we enjoy, right? Like Digimon, we all playing it because we love Digimon, right? We enjoy the game. And so it's it's important that people don't come in there and show their tail thinking that they're the best in the world, right? Because it's just a kid's game, man. We're just a bunch of grown adults slinging cardboard. Enjoying a day off of work. Exactly. <laughs> and, and the place where we don't live at, right? So just make the yeah. most of it, right? Make the most of it. That's... I, I just, it, it kills me on the inside because I've had plenty of people I've met and played against that I don't associate with anymore because they had one bad moment where they just let their hot headedness and compet- overly competitiveness take over and they just showed a bad side of them, right? And even when you try to like make amends, we're like, look, I know you probably had just a bad day or whatever. I get it. Everybody's competitive, nobody likes to lose. Then they still keep on. Like, they won't let their pride kind of let go. Yes. You know, it's just kind of... I'd rather people know me as a guy they enjoy playing against and enjoy being around than a guy being number one in the world. I don't... My standards aren't that high. 
I don't care about being number one in the world, right? I just want to enjoy playing with the people I play with, you know. So I just like I you said, me. it's nice to have those accolades. Like it's mm-hmm. awesome to get top sixteen. It sucks when you're gonna and you don't get it. Mm-hmm. Um, like you said, don't show don't show your tail. Don't yeah. don't make an ass of yourself. No reason um, to. Yeah, because I mean, lots of times you'll make new friends at these events, like because you're going to be seeing them unless they, you know, uh, X and three and bail early. Mm-hmm. You'll probably see them for the next six hours, seven hours. Exactly. So you know, you'll make some new friends. Um, that I want to go into the next segue because this is me, my energy levels. <laughs> um, you know, we promote mental health. But caffeine is a hell of a drug, uh, and <laughs> I drink a lot of it because as my energy levels deplete, um, as you're sitting there, the stress, like if you're winning, you start to feel that weight a little bit. You feel good, and you feel confident, but as you start to play better opponents, like that's the way it was Atlanta, I was like, oh, yeah, I won my first three games. That fourth game was a fucking nail-biter because it's like, oh, no. I have now made it to really good people. (laughs) It's like, uh, Oh, the intensity. You it's like, you know, like a, a actual anime show, but, um, stay, stay energized. Like make sure you get a good night's sleep. Make sure you bring snacks. Like sometimes venues don't have food or if they do, it's kind of expensive. So nobody's going to judge you. (laughs) Yeah. Or it's not great. Nobody's going to judge, judge you. If you decide to snack on some peanuts or a pack of crackers, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, nobody's going to judge you. Like, just stay energized. Try to keep from getting hangry. I got the hookup. That's it. That's it. I got the hookup, man. I got some chips I'll have on me because I couldn't agree <laughs> more with you. I, my bag's going to be my deck with my mat. And then I'm just gonna have like bags of chips. Yes, <laughs> little uh, snacks. Hours. Just of goodies. course, of course, the Frito Man is gonna have all the snacks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all yeah. The chips. <laughs> I'm gonna have a should, bunch. Should I, should I bring a cooler and just That's keep it. Mountain Dew and Pepsi in it? That's it, man. We'll, we'll hook each other up. Keep it in the car. <laughs> Tip for tat. We'll swap it out. No, I, like all right, I, guys. I, we'll go grab drinks. Yeah, staying hydrated, man. It, it, you really do get that, like, cause see, like growing up, I. I used to go to a lot of festivals. I used to go to a lot of big concerts and stuff like that. Dan's Warped Tour. I went to God. I went to like four in the same summer. And like, it's so important. Uh, hydration and all that stuff. Like, and people are going to think, oh, okay, you're talking about drinking water when you're playing a, a card game. It's like, no, it's true. Like, if you're tired, you slept two hours, and you're going to be there for 10 hours, you'll probably be hot for like pure excitement the first three, four hours, right? But as the day gets longer, dude, you're going to get worn out. You're going to get tired. You're going to, make mistakes, misplays. Like when I was at Nats this year, I was undefeated all the way up until around seven or eight, right? But at that point, we didn't have a, like, I was tired. I'd been there all freaking day since 8 a.m. I was exhausted. And I was like, I made one misplay and it cost me the game. I didn't even finish that game. The moment I made the misplay, I went, son of a bitch. I scooped and went to game two. I was like, I'm not even going to waste my time with this guy taking first because it's just going to frustrate me, right? And <laughs> still, I was like, I was at the top tables the entire time, and I lost that one round, and it just like shook me. So I was like, damn it. So I went over, there was a 7 Eleven directly across the street. Like it was in a brick building, you wouldn't even know it because they don't have gas stations over there. They have like freaking convenience stores inside of buildings. So I like, I walked in there, paid $10 for a freaking Red Bull, ran all the way back in there, chugged it, and I was like, all right, we're ready to go. Caffeine, let's party. You know, like it's. <laughs> it's it's so true though. Like you get drained hard at these things. Like it's, it'll get you, man, real hard. I don't know. So you're yeah. not, you're not killing yourself physically, but mentally, you're just in it. Mm-hmm. Well, because whether you're winning or losing, you know, you're pr- prepping for the next match. Like I said, and I would almost say, winning, you expend. Well, me. Okay, I'll say me personally. Winning, I expend more energy than losing. Losing, yeah. I get bummed out. But when I'm winning, I start to get like pumped. I'm hyping yeah. myself up. I'm feeling good. Oh, man. But I'm overexerting myself. Yeah. And yeah, so um, 
And that's another thing, time crunch. So that's why I say bring snacks and bring a water bottle or something. Because mm-hmm. if your match goes till time, you will be shocked at how far away it is to get a drink sometimes. Yep. yep. <laughs> and you may not have time to go just grab a drink. So, yeah, yeah make sure you bring water or juice, whatever you need to drink, energy drinks, yeah. whatever. And also know where all the closest bathrooms are. Boy, you ain't joking. <laughs> yeah. You'll see me trucking across the freaking convention center at this point if the bathroom's on the other side. I would run it. Yep. Five minutes. I got this. <laughs> Good game, handshake. That's Ow. it. That's yep. it, man. I'll see you later. Scoop the whole thing. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be rude. I got to go. See, that's one of those hold your backpack up to the table and just scoop your deck into the back. <laughs> <Exactly. I'm> just... <laughs> We're out. I gotta go. <laughs> To that extent with what Mike, he said, I'm the same way. But, like, what, if the more I win, the more I psych myself out. Like, I get real nervous, and I get real kind of, like, in my head. I'm like, oh, man, I, if I just don't lose one more time and I get three more rounds, I could top 16. I could do this. I could win. I could get in the top table, right? You know, so it's like I get real in my head about it. So, like, I, I'm the world's worst about psyching myself out. It's unreal. Even and so I like have to like make myself like go away in the corner for a minute and just like, okay, you got this, dude. Quit psyching yourself out. Quit making it worse than what it is, you know? And I, I'm real bad about it. Like I'm really, really bad about psyching myself out. Yeah. Well, I mean, that was me. Like I said, I was like three I ended up going three, one, and three. And like I said, so I was really high. Mm-hmm. And then it, and then at the end, I was like, you know what? If I would have just won one more match, I would have made it in the top, you know, 124. Because I was looking at the people I played and I was like, oh, blast it all. If I would have beat that guy. Um, But then, like I said, I was excited because Leafy uh, was doing really well. He had a hot hand. You had been doing really well. So it's like, I was trying to like, when my energy was dropping because I was losing, I was like, you know what? I have friends here that are still doing good, so let's let's root for them. Get that hype game going, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think I got 31st at, Mo- at MomoCon, and I think Tyler ended at like 19th or 20th. I think it's so like bubbled close. straight out. Yeah, he bubbled he did. right out. Yeah. Oh, I was cheering. I was, like, I was like, I was shaking him. I was like, you got it. And yeah. then it was like, he was like, no, I got 19th. I was like, damn, Fuck. damn. <laughs> Still shaking him. Why couldn't you have gotten 16? Why couldn't you have? It's still, still, it's still top 32. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah bubbled out. It wasn't. It wasn't X3 draw. That's so that's you're, true. You're killing it. Yeah, that's hey, it. and if you go X and three, keep playing. Go, or keep go, playing. Go play I card saw games. That they were gonna... Uh, yeah, I was about to say, I saw that they were having side events. I don't know exactly what they're going to be doing. They're going to be doing box giveaways. They're going to do promo pack giveaways, like kit giveaways. Like PPG usually at all of their events. Like they'll do pods. They'll fire them off like boom, 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 boom. So, I mean, it's worth it. If you go X to three, hopefully nobody does. I'm hoping, and realistically, not everybody can make top 16. Let's be honest about it. But if we go in with a mentality that we're just going to do the best that we can with what we got, right? But if if you go X and three, it's just not your day. Play the side events, dude. They're worth it. You get a lot of cards. You get a lot of cool stuff, man. It's 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 worth it. It's really good. So. And and most of them, uh, I know they have a couple of free ones. Mm-hmm. Some of them are paid, but they're not expensive. It's not like you're paying like you can pay like five dollars and maybe win a box. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. so. It's it's really good side events. Um, yeah, there's a lot of good and, promo stuff. Yeah, well, and then there's trading. So, you know, I've been to a couple of Pokemon regionals where trading is huge. Mm-hmm. Digimon was kind of the same way. They're like, hey, you're in luck. I run a card shop or, hey, I have my binder. And then you're like, oh, I don't have that old art. How much would you want for it? And it's kind of cool because I haggled some. I was like, I've got like three of this alt art, Black War Gray X, or I got three of this Black War Gray alt art. I'll trade you this and like 15 bucks for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, definitely smart. I'm bringing a couple of my things. Like I'm not bringing a lot of my a stuff. Lot, yeah. yeah. I don't really bring my stuff anymore. I've had it stolen too many times, you know? So it's like, or I misplace it. Yeah. Right. And so I, I'm one of those, like, I don't bring a lot of my stuff, but I used to bring, I used to 
buy everything in bulk. And then when I go to like these big events, I would unload everything. And I'd walk away with like, you know, a thousand, two thousand dollars worth of stuff, right? So it's like it's good. It you can make a lot of money. You can also pick up some stuff you don't normally have. I mean, it's it's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth it. And it's right and it's right there. That's what's cool. It's like anytime you get to go to a regional, um set yourself a boundary because it can get out of hand because you know now you don't have to bring cash they all have the debit card scanners touch so, so yeah touch pay set yourself a limit and like that's what i did i was like there's a couple cards i'm looking for i knew what leafy was trying to max out uh red hybrid and rarity so i was watching for things like that uh i knew ko like he was playing set con so it's like you know there's there's always something to do at a regional so do bring some cash, but set a limit to how much you want, unless you just got that kind of money, unless you just got that kind of cash flow to just buy a case while you're there. <laughs> Cause, yeah. uh, and we may get lucky like now won't guarantee it, but since the new set does drop literally right after we're there, uh, I wouldn't be shocked if people there do have, you know, where they go to pre-releases and things like that. You might already go ahead and see some of the newer stuff. Oh, we're hitting up BT. We're hitting up the pre-release in Concord. We're getting there early. See? We're going to a pre-release in Charlotte at the card shop. They have it tomorrow night. So we're we're actually going to get there early enough to where we can pull up to that, do the pre-release there, and then uh, hopefully we get the, here. you know, the serialized cards, <laughs> the itemized. Yeah. We want those. We're back. Yeah, One back, see, that's, sorry, that's we dope. had some technical difficulties. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm here just, for it. I'm ready for our te- get my case. I'm ready to go. To our you tech guys. guy got it. Yay! Playing in that evil. No, but no, he is though. I'm telling you, I just did you guys. He's. I'm so happy. Like I got to see him through your your podcast and got to meet him and talk to him and stuff like that. He's he's just. I like him. He's fun. Oh yeah networking is our big thing like a lot of guys will post in the discord Mm -hmm. this is a this is a good when you go to regionals and you have a product you're trying to sell or you have a podcast you're trying to promote network and you know digi guy always goes because like he i guess he's worried and i'm like bro you're not going to steal our thunder Listen, if you want to zoom i'll be sitting here one day while my kids are watching you know you on youtube and i'll go yeah, that guy used to be part of our Discord. I know that guy. It's, yeah. it's just like Ninja. When I first met him, I was like, yeah, I used to play Ninja in Halo. Mm-hmm. I used to play Diablo 3 with his younger with his brother all the time. Yeah. It's like, you know. It, I, but yeah, he's doing a really good thing over there. And I'm glad. That's what I'm happy with. What we're doing right now is getting a lot of younger or not as well known uh youtubers content creator dg players on here because i think they have as much to bring to the table as someone who won worlds Mm -hmm. no like you have as much to bring to the table as east it's just you gotta some of us do it yeah some of us do it and some of us don't we're here to help facilitate hey man (laughs) I'm happy. Just trying to help people get out there. Yeah, I'm happy you guys like, do it. Your little your group, your Discord group, man. Like when I first found you guys and all that stuff, it was just like by a random chance. Like it's it was one of those things where Tennessee, I was in the Tennessee group, the Knoxville group, and then somebody just, hey, you know, these guys do online events. Go check them out. And then I got to meet you guys and be on the podcast with you guys back in like episode four, you know, where you guys are at now. Yeah. <laughs> so and now I think I've played you more than I've actually played Drew. <laughs> Probably. That's funny, man. That's funny. But yeah. So, uh, Mikey's going to have the wristbands at the tournament, too. Yep. Um, Better together. Uh, That's so cool. Wait. And we've got the white ones here, too. I have the white one. I the, still have the white one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Wait. Let's take. So, it, this is, so, this is my old slogan. Mm-hmm when I used to do my own thing and when I ended my videos, this is my motto. Be nice, be safe, peace. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so just be not, be, be kind, (laughs) be nice, you know, 
It's a game. Uh, At the end of the day, it's a game. Yeah, it's just we're here for fun mostly. We're just no, like I said, nobody likes losing. But at the end of the day, I'd, yeah. I'd rather be known that the guys. Man, I loved playing that guy, even though he beat my ass. I really loved playing him, right? Then being like, I think I was just a dick the whole time. I never want to play him again, right? Because that's just not worth it at that point. It just, it really isn't. Listen, I've done talked about. I've played against two very rough people to play against. One was in person, Atlanta. And one was on, I think, was it Core? Was it Core TCG's online regional? Anyway, if you're an asshole, I may not mention your name, but you will probably get brought up during the next podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so, so for the so for the hundred and something listeners that listen to us. <laughs> you will have a rest. Yeah. So, I'm going to look for this guy every time I go to any event. I'm going to find you. Mikey said, like, hey, that one time. <laughs> you're a, you were an asshole to Mikey during that game. You're a dick. <laughs> no, yeah, no. I could see somebody doing that, taking it too seriously. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's there's always those yeah. guys. There's um, Pokemon gave me some thick skin for that because mm-hmm. there's a lot of rule sharks. Yeah. Uh, in Pokemon, so you'll be sitting there having the time of your life, and then you'll just see the guy get quiet and go, and you're like, "What did I do? Why, why are you calling a judge Please over?" Don't, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll take everything back. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm um, not even going to start calling judge. I'm going to stare at you blankly and just go. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't do anything. I just flipped my egg. You know what you Listen, done. You just tell Mind me what games. I did. Uh, tell me what's wrong. What what is Mind, wrong with this board Mind state? games. <laughs> it's perfect strategy. My luck though, somebody would do it to me and I'd have a meltdown. Like I'm so oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like we haven't even started. Please don't call we Nathan. Just, we just... Please don't call Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> we just rolled to see who went first. What did I do wrong? Yeah. No, that's exactly how it would go. He rolled a two-sided die. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, um, no, yeah, no. So supplies that you have to have. Oh, yeah. okay. Essential. This, this is great. Your deck. You better not forget your deck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't forget your deck. <laughs> Always bring protection. Make sure it's in a box. <laughs> yeah. Wow. We got the oh, um, BCW yep. supplies. Hey. Listen, you can carry it in a Walmart bag or whatever. You know, mm-hmm. it's up to you. Um, don't forget to submit your deck list, God, yeah. please. Ten thirty, I think, is what it said. By thirty, the day of. Morning. Yeah, I hounded the hell out of my teammates, my buddies, everybody. I was like, make sure you have a picture made. Make sure that Google form is done tomorrow and i was like we're not leaving yep. the house until everything is submitted and i was like we're getting there saturday morning don't miss early don't miss check-in because why waste your time being there if you're going to be late like there's just mm-hmm. just it's so easy to just be on time or be early like don't be late it's not worth it. there's so many people begging to get into this event like i'm talking yeah. waiting at the door for this event like you got lucky getting in, man. Like, take don't don't look it in the face, you know. Throw it away. So don't, uh, don't forget your play so, mat. I don't know dice. Bring your dice, man. Dice, yeah. yes. You, Memory gauge if you don't have one on your play yeah, mat. Make sure you have your phone fully yep. charged, man. It's a, gonna be a long, long day. It's a long day. It's gonna be even more boring if you're getting your ass whooped and your phone's dead. <laughs> Yep. Water and snacks. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, Let's see. Man, don't Um, forget your sleeves. Sleeve your deck. Yeah, I've got to make sure they're not opaque. They cannot be see-through in the slightest bit. Like at the top and the back, if you even see this form of an egg or the wording, get different sleeves. I I always tell everybody, don't use white sleeves. Never use white sleeves. No, Always bring extras. Of the sleeves you're using, because they will rip, they will tear, and it is on you to make sure they get fixed. 
and bring a backup pack of a different color or something, That's just fair. in case. Yeah, I have a whole box. Oh, sorry, guys. I have a whole box that um, I'm not even open. Prismatic. Thanks, guys. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, I've got a pack of the uh, the Starfool, mm-hmm. and then I grabbed a pack of just the matte black. Yep. Yeah, and Matt Black. That's me. I got him sitting in the. I got him in my bag already. I'm ready to party, man. I'm ready for it. <laughs> double check your deck. <laughs> if you're going to double sleeve, make <laughs> sure they're all double sleeved. Yeah. If you're going to triple sleeve, <laughs> make sure they're all triple sleeved. Uh, you talking from um, personal experience, Mikey? No, Mikey. <laughs> Mikey was playing the last tournament, the last box tournament that we had. Yeah. Mikey had his TK's double sleeve. <laughs> I forgot. But see, this is how this is how oblivious I am. I pay no attention. Like I'm the guy that like had no clue. It was just the alt art TK's <laughs> and I had double sleeved them. And in my brain, it was the Mastermind deck. I hadn't had time to double sleeve at all. Uh, the deck I'd had those in, which was my uh, just my vaccine deck, I was like. It's all double sleeved, so I just pull them out and put them in there. And then Drew afterwards was like, "Do you know that's double sleeved?" I was like, "Nope, mm. had no clue." <laughs> it's okay because he's a boomer and could, wouldn't be able to use that to his advantage. <laughs> but in a tournament situation, you Couldn't don't see need the that difference. Going on. Yeah. Yes. Oh man. Yeah. Because, because that that will that will get you disqualified. Yeah, because not everybody knows Mikey. <laughs> That's it. And another thing is, too, when you're playing your opponent, make sure, like, that you watch them shuffle their deck, right? Because, like, people can stack their decks in God knows how many ways to where they open up the perfect hand or have the perfect shields, right? So it's always good practice, you know, when they offer to cut, like, especially in the very beginning, like, round one. Game one, I'm going to always shuffle your deck. I don't care who you are. I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to shuffle it. Uh, game two and three, I'll probably cut it. But game one, I'm always shuffling your deck. Because uh, I think you're a cheater, but it's because, like, if people could take advantage, why wouldn't they, right? Like, that's just the way I look mm-hmm. at it. So that's uh, just another thing. Like, try to keep people honest, you know? Don't let somebody cheat just for cheating's sake, you know? Don't worry. I won't bridge shuffle your deck. Oh, God. I will bridge shuffle. I will bridge shuffle my two hundred dollar deck though. That is a fighting and make word. you cringe. Yeah, Ooh, <laughs> those are fighting words. Bridge shuffle. Yeah. Listen, with with red, I must try to utilize every technique <laughs> to make sure that I don't brick. I'm gonna just take the top card of your deck and just put it on the bottom after you bridge shuffle. <laughs> just don't, don't and it'll be like, man, I didn't see any rookies. First check. Agumon, second check. Agumon, third check. Greymon. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's like, no! Oh, God, yeah. It's all because you put that one card. Yep, I messed up everything. So, you know, yeah, it's... I'm, I can't... I'm so pumped about this, man. Like, it's unreal. Like I said, it's, it is unreal. I'm pumped. Well, uh, sleep. Um, oh, yeah. This isn't an item to bring. I know we'll be playtesting a lot into the night. That's why we said make sure you submit your deck list because there probably will be people play testing to make sure, hey, do I want to run uh, two of this or three of this? Mm-hmm. Should I tech in? Like me, you know, I've been sitting here thinking and running through games in my head. I'm like, do I want to run uh, Yuya? Do I not want to run Yuya? Do I want to run this many Crimson Blaze? Ooh, should I put in a guy Force? You know, like, I know, hey, you know, just little things like that. If you make sure if you're testing to not miss the cutoff for deck submission. Yep. Please do not. Pointless things. It will give you. Yep. It will make you late uh, if you get in on time. Because I know a lot of times you can message them and they will accept it. You sadly will have a round one loss if they do accept it. So that's a. Don't be yeah, late. It's so unfortunate. It's so easy to avoid. Just be prepared. Yeah. Be prepared. Just go ahead and do it in advance. That's the main thing. Yes. Do it in advance. Because you can always change it. Yeah. If you if you if you keep play testing, like I'll probably submit mine uh, tonight or tomorrow morning, 
and then if I decide to tweak something, I'll just take another picture or whatever, but it'll already be submitted. Exactly. Um, I can't think of anything else. A little bit of cash. Yeah, definitely. Uh, charge your phone, yeah. water, yeah. snacks, deck, yep. play mat, yep. memory counter. If you don't have Be one, ready to party. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Right, make sure you have the Best Coast pairings app. Oof. Oh, yes. Yep. PPG affiliate. Please download that before because sometimes the venue's internet sucks, especially when we all get in there. Yeah, once everybody's in the same spot. It just, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just, uh, I pulled up the email that they sent out and, um, TPG and, uh, GFG Tyler are going to be Tyler, Tyler Kerr. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah. Make sure to watch guys. I mean, that helps promote the game too. Yeah. Uh, if you, if you go XN3, pull up the stream. That's it. That's it. <laughs> You guys are be. I'm sure you guys will be making videos throughout the day. You know. Oh yeah. yeah, I've got. Oh, battery packs are ready. My phone is going to perpetually be at ten percent because <laughs> I'll throw it on charge while I'm playing, and then afterwards, yeah, I'm hoping to do some lives on the way up there, and then, like I said, we're going to be testing uh, the night before with all the guys. Mm -hmm. Probably get some video no, of that. Don't up. worry, I'm bringing, I'm bringing the Toyger. Yeah, I'm going to grab mine too. I mean, there you go. Yeah, we're uh, getting, we're gonna get a, there. Well, expect a vlog on the uh, Cataclysmic Gamers uh, YouTube channel afterwards too. There you go. There you go. Featuring everybody. <laughs> yeah, we got to get a picture together with everyone just so we can make sure. Because, like I said, it's a rare event where everyone. It's all going to be together yep. at the same time. It's going to be fire. It's going to be. It's going to be a lot of fun. Man. See, that's just have a good time. Oh yeah. Just, just try to have fun. Make make the best of these moments. I I think that's something a lot of us can relate to. As you get older, uh, your time gets more crunched. It gets more rare. So just enjoy it. Like. Um, hopefully there'll be some people cosplaying there may not be but there usually is one or two that get a little hardcore hope, and those are always fun <laughs> oh man somebody needs to dress up as something and they have to somebody dress up as monzi mon the whole time that'd be funny uh let's see i've seen beelzemon yeah. i've seen uh uh edamon i've seen uh, one of the little kids once upon a time was, uh, I think he was Guillemon. I think it could have been Tyrannomon. <laughs> it could have been, or, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, just trying, just in case. Everybody, Maybe he was everybody going to be looking out for Andrew and Mikey being top tables the whole weekend. And then we'll both be at the side events. Yeah, <laughs> you guys end up. Yeah, hey, if, <laughs> yeah. If we scrub out, make sure to come say hi at the side events. <laughs> yep. Everybody, come see us. You guys have a video posted up. Everybody at this regional, come see us. <laughs> you guys just start hey, getting cards you, out. <laughs> I would, I would love to. Uh, I don't know if anybody will get any of the alt arts from this deck, but I feel like the last regional. Uh, there was another, he was playing Black War Gray, and I was playing Toolbox before Toolbox was popular. <clears throat> anyway, uh, and he needed one more alt art Black War Gray, and I was like, you know what, bro? I got you. I was like, so I ended up, it was the best I could do because um, he was not prepared for uh, War Gray Mon and Black War Gray to be combined. He was not prepared for that cancer mm -hmm. as it was at the time. I'm interested to see how well you do with it. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I forgot. It. Uh, I forgot War Gray Mon, you know. It existed. Yeah. Not that it's not good. I'm not saying it's not good. Yeah. I'm just saying it, I'm interested. 
it's one of those one trick ponies. And if you can stop its one trick, it's it's pretty much dead. Hey, man. <laughs> but if they don't stop it, go burr, baby, go burr. <laughs> yeah, that's how that's that's my game plan. What's your strategy, Mikey? Go burr. That's it. <laughs> go burr, go yeah. home. <laughs> yeah. And Andrews is I'm gonna either go wide, make a big dinosaur that goes dumb stuff, or have fun hanging out. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm just gonna be slapping people, suspending them, and just running over them. Hey, that's it. I I'm really excited to see. Uh, I think that's the thing I'm most pumped about is, you know, I've played in several regionals by myself. I've went to a regional in person by myself, but now having the whole crew there, and then you're all's crew. Like, because the Atlanta, I just kind of hung out with you guys. Yeah, I was like, yeah. my crew's not we here. Just, so we just, just grabbed you and put you with us. I'm like, you're with us now. You're a demon <laughs> lord for the day. <laughs> so, it, and, you know, that was cool. So, hopefully this time we'll get to see uh, all of our groups yeah. smash there. Yeah, we end up all hating each other. We not want to be around each other the whole time. Come on, guys. Get along. Say, get we... along. <laughs> Either that, so or our, it? either that or our podcast uh, list is going to grow <laughs> yeah. exponentially on people to be on. Yeah, yeah, that's true, man. You guys, that would be cool. You guys are going to go from like three email submissions to like one hundred. You're like, we're trying to get to you guys. I promise, we're trying. Yeah, <laughs> that would be so cool. But I love having so many people on. I'm that guy. I'm like. Ugh. I'm gonna have to hate, but we're gonna have to pick. No. That that would be a good thing, but also it would break my heart because I'm like, no, I have to pick you all. Oh, I have to choose. Oh man, you guys should do another huge tournament on the channel, though. Once you can see how much more players you get added to it, do another channel, do another big tournament again. So we really need to. Anyway. Um, I still have my trophy. I would love that, dude. Yeah, it's so cool. I still have my trophy. <laughs> So, see guys, if you come and play in our events when we host them, <laughs> you get cool shit. Yeah. <laughs> it glows in the dark, but I've not seen it do it once. But it does maybe one day. <laughs> <laughs> Just hold it to the light for a really long time. Oh man, it sits right here on my desk, so it's like it's pretty cool. I used to try to use it as a memory counter, but it's too gaudy. And it's like, too big. Yeah, it covers like three <laughs> things at once, so. Are you at one or three memory? Yeah, both, please. Uh, yeah, you decide. Play, it, move them on. It doesn't matter. I'll tell you when I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, for real. Listen, we don't have to worry about it until it goes to your side of the board, all right? Yeah, you're <laughs> don't right. Don't worry about it. Right. No, man. Till you get four or five, we're not worrying about it. Don't worry about it. I'll tell you. I'll tell you when I'm finished. Let me do my stuff. Ooh, that would be cool. Oh, quick. What decks would you like to see? Like a, a random just deck you would like to see at the event. Met, not play against it, just, you know, someone's like, hey, I'm going to bring this deck. Deep Ormon. Like, it's my favorite. So I see someone playing it, I'm going to be like, I support you in everything you do. You just, you, I hope for great things. <laughs> 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 no, nah, I think there's so many fun decks to play. At like an event like this right now, I think there's just so many things people could be doing. Uh, I mean, hell, bring Glugamon, bring Shine Greymon, bring anything. It would be fun. Bloom Lord, Bunnies, all that stuff. It'll be. I, I don't think there's a bad deck to bring. I think because right now the the meta's not like really muddied, right? I think there's a lot of decks people could just be bringing in, and every dog has his day, man. You could just go against and have the perfect roundup and come out on top with just a rando deck that's off the wall. You know, like it's the deck I built for my buddy KO to play. It's literally Marcus hybrid. It's just Marcus Agumons that make Marcus Digimons and then yellow hybrid engine. That's all it is. And it's just, yeah. Is this. The is this the finalized version of that deck I played against at CM uh, with the gray mons and everything? No, it's different now. I've updated it. I've updated it. Oh. Yeah, I made it worse. I've made it worse. It's it's so uh, fun. It was done horrifying. Yeah, it's so fun, man. I love that deck. 
don't sleep on that deck, guys. If you see this deck, it will mess you up if you do not pay attention. Yeah, I go burr. It is nasty. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make Venus Mon or- so you don't do anything, and then the very next turn when you're like, oh, I'm fine. Venus isn't that problem anymore. Ruin mode. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's just I'm telling you. Yeah, it's it's cute, man. I think we run eleven or twelve tamers. Um, it's cute. Yeah, it's oh, I love it. I was gonna play that deck at this regional, but I changed. I changed a couple of weeks ago to what I'm playing now, and I just gave every card extra into that deck, and it's so nasty. Like if it goes off, like you're not expecting it. Like I run two Trident Gaia in there. And people like tried and Gaia, yeah, have a 13k on the board, please. Trash the security while you're at it. Um, watch, watch me, watch me play him, and I'm like, I live at the, <laughs> I live at 13,000 DP. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> and I'm, it's also running like three Shining Blast, one Sunrise Buster, one Sun uh, Shining Burst, because you run a bunch of Marcuses, you know, so you could shoot them out. Yeah. You, and then two Wyvern's Breaths. Like, it's it's nasty, man. It's hybrid Secon. It's red, yellow, hybrid Secon. And it's so gross. It's, oh, it's so gross. I love that because that also, that's a, that's a kind of in his wheelhouse. Because mm-hmm. he's done played that a lot anyway. Yep. So I feel like that'll be a deck. Oh, yeah. he, I'm telling you guys, if you're sitting across the table from him. Be scared. If he, scared. I was about to say. <laughs> And it, and if he has a rough round one or two, don't play him any of the others because he'll he'll get the hang of it oh. and just mess you up. He he's I he takes me to game three every single time we play with this deck, and because I'm having to dodge around these cards, he runs four crimson blazes, and yeah, it it is here to make it hard. Like be aware, Such like a nasty. It, oh, it it's if he gets steam rolling. Like once he gets three or four tamers on the board, nobody's safe. He's just gonna hybrid you down all the way, baby. It's it's rough. It's real rough. My my daughter came in to say hello and I said it's time for you to go to bed. <laughs> It's only eleven thirty, and you have school tomorrow. But yeah, let me be on the podcast. It's May Day. <laughs> it's a May Day. No, let me be on the podcast, Dad. I'm a Digimon player too. No, she gave up on Pokemon, oh. so we're just gonna wait. We're just gonna wait until she picks up another card game. Oh, okay. We tried Lorcana, and she just—I don't think card games are gonna be her cup of it's tea. Okay. Lorcana is not for everyone. It's different. No, it's different. Maybe as she gets older, she'll like uh, Digimon. Hey, man, she could be like me. I didn't pick up card games until 2015. I never touched them. I never, I didn't know what they were until like 2015. So I've only been playing like eight or nine years. And so it's just like, uh, that's, I picked it up because of friends. My friends that I made when I first moved up here, we uh they just were all about Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, and I was like, What's Yu-Gi-Oh? you know, because I was like, I just <laughs> is that the TV show we watched as a kid? You know, they're like, Yeah, that's so much more than that. They're like, Come on, get real, Alex. So I was like, all right. <laughs> so, and then I, I played that for like six months, hated myself, hated the game. <laughs> and then Dragon Ball Super, I'm a huge Dragon Ball fan. We've talked about this. I love Dragon Ball. I played Super. For, I played it all the way up until COVID ruined it, and then I, Digimon came out. So, <sighs> yeah, that was that was when it pretty much died for me. I've even tried to play the new. I one. I love the new one. Oh my god, I love it. It's just impossible to get, but I love it. Well, but if I didn't have the online client, I wouldn't really get to play a lot either because there's just once again it happened. And then product scarcity, it already slightly died. <laughs> yeah. I just like the idea behind the Pokemon card idea where you like you buy a pack, you get the card, you can play it on the online client. Oh yes. Love that. That's so wonderful. It's- are you lis- are you listening, Bandai? You literally do it with one of your card games. Do it with Digimon. <laughs> oh man. Actually, you know what? 
we don't need you. We got the DCGO. That's it. Yeah. I, that, I love that client. I, it's so much fun. When it came out, I think I stayed up to like two or three in the morning just building decks. Just having a blast. Oh, yeah. I, I love oh, it. Oh, yeah. It, it, depending on how long it takes to edit this podcast, I'll probably do that the rest of the night until I like fall asleep in my chair. Yeah, yeah. No, man. Hey, look, I'm going to be going to bed sleeping great because I got... I got to deal with some grown ass children in a car ride to North Carolina. So, <laughs> me and KO are in the front and letting the other guys fight for themselves in the back. So, we're like, well, defend yourselves. <laughs> yeah, I got a SUV. I just, that fits six people, but it's a lot of room. It just takes so much gas. And I was like, I hate driving it anywhere other than like necessities, right? And I was like, we could just take my car and like we're not gonna be squishing the back seat for five hours. I was like, I won't be. You guys will be. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be comfortable up front. I don't know what you mean. Maki, we need to get a big giant orange school bus. Heck yeah. And just slap the cataclysmic gamers on the side. There you go. All right, podcast listeners. Be on the lookout for a cheap school bus. Yeah. <laughs> You guys get the little half school buses. <laughs> you see them? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the short bus. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, technically, that's all we would need. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That'd be funny. Get like 18 people on there. That's fun. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's all you oh, need. Good. Hey, man. Going down. I'm going to try to go to Game Con this year, too. Uh, even if I get my invite Saturday, I'm still going to try to go to Game Con. Just to... I try to go at least to one or two in-person events if I can. Just try to get some stuff. Because it was crazy the awesome. amount of people that were there. Mm-hmm. Like, insane. But it was a really good time. Yeah, see, that's what I, I'm ready for it. I'm, I'm excited for this season. This next few months of Digimon, I'm pretty excited for it. So. You will have enough formats, decks, trust me, over the next, what, four or five months Mm -hmm. you will you will have plenty of options oh yeah so yeah this the bandai is doing their best to be like hey this is the year of digimon everybody let's go we're merging with the japan (laughs) fully in 2025 let's liberators all the liberator stuff has been cool so far yeah wasn't there one that dropped today uh they some newer stuff yeah and then the leak of the new Impmon level five. It looks cool as hell. The dragon. Oh, it looks so cool. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, it looks so cool. Doorbrick. That's all I can I think in my it. head. Doorbrick pieces. It's a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Doorbrick will never no. die as long as there's Ceratopians there, and exactly. dragons. There are people there are people that build decks and they're just like, I see machine support mm-hmm. or I see dinosaur dragon support. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're probably one of those. Like, whole... This is a rust time ran card piece. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Everything like it, every time there's a new card reveal, someone will be like, that's a so-and-so piece. And I'm like, yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> <laughs> if you really think about it, I mean, that green liberator deck, yeah, that is straight Tyranimon support. That, I don't care what you're saying. I <laughs> love what you're living in because I, <laughs> I'm here for it. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> no, yeah, no, I'm excited, man. I, I, the new stuff that they're doing, I just really like the direction that they're going in. Like, uh, it's it's exciting. Hopefully we'll get a lot more in-person regionals and um, we'll see. Do we have any news about what PPG events are going to get released for the store regionals since they were the one, only ones they got? In? I think there was only like six ones, six of them that got them. I, and none of them are near us. <laughs> none of them. Yeah. Uh, of course. Yeah. See, we, my locals was the gold store, but when we applied for it, um, we had a situation come up where we're like the the store basically lost access to TCG Plus for like a month, and that one month of us not having an ability to like set up events and submit them pushed us down to silver. 
so we were rejected for the store champs. We're like, all right, that sucks, but what can we do? So it's 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 rough, but I think they're I think I'm hopeful Nats isn't invites only this year. I'm hopeful that it's open like it was last year and they had another Bandai Fest. I think that'd be pretty cool. It's just more money for them, in my opinion. You know, they, as long as they uh, figure out the whole, you know, two round bar. Uh, don't even get me started. <laughs> oh my god, that was the worst in the world. I love that I didn't have to play for two rounds. I hated that it took an hour and twenty minutes to play the it third round. It took almost. It, it took almost two rounds to deal yeah, with it. Mm-hmm. And they didn't start until right at the end of round two to get us all put in. And then by the time they did it, we played one round and they went lunchtime. And then another hour <laughs> went by. And so we were like two hours behind at that point. And I was like, oh, this sucks. This is the worst. But uh, I mean, overall, the festival was cool. Watching Soj King sing uh, in person, all that stuff was so much fun. Like there was, they had everything. I it was the coolest thing in the world to do. I hated that it was in Los Angeles. I wish it's closer, but it's the coolest thing. I, I was happy I was there. So it's all about the experience, baby. Yeah. yeah if it's in LA again next year, will I go? I don't know because <laughs> if I go, I'm not going for a week again. I'm going for like the day before because. Uh, my significant other is going to kill me, but that's that's a lot. It is so much. Everybody can find out Saturday, depending on where yeah. <laughs> Sweaty lands on the top table. Oh, so, yeah. She's rooting for me, not that she wants me to succeed, but she wants to guarantee another trip to Disneyland. Because <laughs> she thinks that every hey, time we go to California, uh, it's Disneyland time. <laughs> I, you... I mean, I mean, hey, that's fair. I think that's fair. Uh, I would... have, Disneyland is no, that's so expensive. <laughs> we, oh, I took my parents. Your wallet says time. it's not fair. No, but... it's not. I saved up the whole year for this trip because I took my parents with us, and uh, we didn't ride two rides at Disneyland, and she spent like three months watching videos regretting every second of it we got to go back we got to go back i gotta ride this ride i have no choice i have to ride this ride please get your invite so we can ride this ride alex i was like oh man now i feel like i don't need to do it just so we don't go. <laughs> <laughs> so no yeah it's it's fun la is so cool it's so cool there's so much stuff to do it really is a different world over there any other city, state I've ever been to, country I've been to, LA is like a whole other league. So, so much stuff. It's cool. But it's a, it's a lot. It is a lot. So, you guys go next year. You'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try. Yeah. We'll try. That's, that's... I, if I show up, I'll have a baby strapped to my chest. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I'll roll up. I'll roll up and throw the dopper bag on the table. And that's all you got to do. Open it up. Has like <laughs> pull your deck out of the side. Yeah, pocket. yeah. his play mat will be diapers. Yep. taped together. <laughs> it, it'll be a changing pad. Yeah, that's it. That's wow. it. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> oh man. So, what are you guys looking forward to the most about this coming up? It's regional. Hmm. I'm excited to sling cardboard. I haven't played in yeah. forever. So I'm just excited to play and getting to go on another boys trip. The last boys trip was uh, not last September, but the one before that. Oh. Me and uh, Jordan went to the Mothman Festival with some other buddies. Okay. And that was a good time. Uh, so I'm excited for the trip. Yeah, yeah. The camaraderie. Yep. You know, I'm excited to see everybody. Like I said, I've let my social battery charge up. I'm ready to go hang out and socialize 
be all caffeined up and ready to bring the hop. That's it, man. You gotta bring the gotta bring it. Bring the speed. I think I think that's another thing of why I'm playing War Greymon is I'll just shut my brain. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't think just turn sideways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stack, move forward, swing. Yeah. Oh it died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I get it. I get it. That's funny. That's really funny. <laughs> my like what I'm breaking, I'm just gonna melt my brain the entire time because I have to think so much. I'm just gonna be miserable the whole time. <laughs> it's like, man, I won. But God, was it a battle? What cost? <laughs> what cost did I do this to myself? <laughs> so that's how I felt with Delphi at South Carolina when uh, I was undefeated all the way to the last round. And at that point, I was just like, my brain was just shut off, and I was just like, Belfi, burr, burr. And I just made Belfi turn to against this Shine Greymon player, and he just, his face was like, the fuck? And I was just like, burr. And I broke all of his, <laughs> I broke all of his shields, and he goes, okay, but now what? And I was like, ruin mode. I hate everything. And he goes, he just picked this stuff up. And just walked off, and I was—I just, just sat there for a minute, staring at my play man. I was like, "This is what I've become. This is what I. This is what I've done. <laughs> I, I'm so brain dead now. I was just autopilot, and the guy beside me went, "Holy shit! Why?" <laughs> All right, we're back again. More technical difficulties, but yeah. wanted to come back and wrap things up. Uh, thank you. Mega sweaty for being on and helping us with regional prep. Yeah, guys, anytime, anytime. Um, Watch me go in there and get my guys. ass washed <laughs> Saturday. Don't take anything I say seriously. I suck at this game. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that'll be the case at all. I hope not, man. I hope not. My friends will never let me live it down. I'm only trying to win so they quit making fun of me. <laughs> But if you see us, any of us at the Concord Regional, come up, say hi, get a picture, come hang out. We'll send you to get signed up to be on the podcast. They're, uh, they're paying me 10 cents per card to hand out. So make sure you tell them. <laughs> <laughs> I just start handing out tickets to everybody. Doesn't even matter. Janitor walking by, join this Discord. What's Discord? Doesn't matter. I hope you set it up right now. I'm making money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Mike, you got anything else? I got a baby waking up. Nope. Uh, Prismatic Defender. Sleeves of choice at these regional events. Don't break the bank to bling out your jank. Um, I'm going to be giving a Prismatic Defender playmat out to a random person. Uh, so maybe whoever comes and finds me first or we'll decide and we'll make a video post about it. So yeah. that's it. That's it. Thanks again for having me guys. It's been a blast. I'll see you guys two days. See you Saturday. Yeah. Let's party. See that's right. So. Maybe tomorrow. Even, who knows? Hey, yeah. Hit me, hit me up. We're going to be there. Like I said, we're going to get there early enough to try to hit up some pre-releases. In the North Carolina local scene. So we're going to either get kicked out or find out what we're dealing with for Saturday. One of the two. So, Heck yeah. So it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Shout out to Team Demon Lords. So whoop, whoop. we'll be there hanging out. All right. This is the Cataclysmic Gamers with the Security Check Digimon TCG podcast. I'll see you guys at the Concord Regional. Yeah. Peace out, guys.